Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to use a tuning fork to get your guitar in tune. Let's start by understanding the basics. A tuning fork is a two-pronged metal instrument that vibrates at a specific pitch when struck, and we're going to use that pitch to tune our guitar with. To hold your tuning fork, you're just going to take your thumb and index finger and kind of pinch the handle right here, and you just want to make sure that you only hold the handle and don't touch the two prongs after you've struck it because that will stop it from vibrating and producing a sound. Then you're simply going to tap it on your knee to set it vibrating and just place it on the bridge of your guitar. And there we have a very nice pure sounding A. So this tuning fork is tuned to the pitch A440. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but here you can see the letter A, which is the pitch. And then here is the number 440. 440 just means 444 vibrations per second. And that is the standard frequency pitch that most of our music is tuned to today. Now that you know how a tuning fork works, one of the most fun things to do is to take this and test the acoustic capabilities of random objects. A candle. Pineapple. Hydro flask. Surfboard. Ooh, not bad. Okay, anyways, back to guitar. So now let's talk about how to actually tune your guitar using the tuning fork. So first you're gonna take your pitch like we talked about. You're gonna listen to that pitch very carefully and hold it in your mind. And then you're gonna play a harmonic on the seventh fret of the fourth string and match it to that first pitch, which might sound pretty close. Let's say for example though, maybe you're a little bit out of tune. You'll take your pitch, then you'll play your harmonic that that obviously sounds way out of tune it's a little bit flat so then I'll retune it and then all you have to do is just double check it might take you a couple tries but you can double check it play your A again still a little bit flat so we're gonna adjust that until you get it in tune very simple so it sounds pretty good right there so one of the best parts about using a tuning fork is that it helps train and develop your ear, okay? I have nothing against electronic tuners. However, I do believe that every time you use an electronic tuner or a phone to tune your guitar, you throw away an opportunity to train your ear, okay? I do love electronic tuners. They're great, especially if you're trying to tune in a loud environment, which this thing, not so good for those cases. But if you wanna develop your ear and become a better musician, I would highly recommend using the tuning fork. So. Once you get your A in tune, now you're just gonna tune the rest of your strings using your ear with harmonics or however you like to tune your guitar. So I'll usually get my fourth string in tune first, then I'm gonna play a harmonic on the fifth fret of the fifth string and just match that the same way that I did with the tuning fork. But now I know that this, this note is in tune, so I'm gonna match the fifth string to that. Then I'm gonna go with the fifth string, because that's in tune now, and check the sixth string. Same thing from the fourth string to the third string. From here, you can pretty much tune however you like. If you like to use the uh, fifth fret method, like this, fourth fret, you can do that as well. I usually use a combination of harmonics, I use octaves, and I also use fifths. So I'll check the harmonic here, check the D note here, fifths, So that is how you tune your guitar with the tuning fork. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any more questions, especially maybe about tuning your guitar by ear. I would love to help you guys with that. If you got any value out of this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And again, let me know if you have any other guitar questions and I am happy to help you guys. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.